Yo guys, and welcome back to the last part of today's uh, stream. It's gonna be a very short uh, session of Unity. We have like another hour or so to spare for the start of this playthrough. And uh, yeah, for Unity, we're gonna be trying another challenge again. Um, the way the annual series run basically works is uh, for each game of a series, we do like a different type of challenge. Or, you know, one that repeats itself, depending on the game. So for Rogue, we did the Stealth Challenge. However, for Unity, we are going to be doing the No Hut Challenge, which basically means um, no minimap, no uh, enemy feedback, um, and all that type of stuff, basically. So we very much uh, have to work with kind of like our senses, I guess. <laughs> and Eagle Vision. Thank you, Rod. Welcome back as well, Sunny. To the start of this awesome game. But yeah, Unity, of course, set uh, during the French Revolution, um, at the end of the 80th century. It's about um, Arno Dorian, um, the boy we have just seen at the end of Rogue. And um, his father, um, you know, got killed by Shay, as we have seen. So that's going to... Uh, you know, really have a major influence on him as a character and how he develops later. So in a way, it's kind of a cool transition between Rogue and Unity. Just um, would have been cool to have, you know, Shay in the game to go after eventually. <laughs> it is Rot. Yeah, I needed uh, some good Isasuke today after having played uh, Rogue two, two days. <laughs> in a row. What do you think of a link uh, you sent me? I think it's uh, pretty cool actually. I've seen it uh, the other day on Reddit when it got posted like a couple of days ago. Um, and I thought it was a really cool way to kind of combine all of the uh, logos together. Definitely creative. And it still kind of like looks aesthetically pleasing, I think. Despite you know being so mixed matched, so that's uh, a great um, outcome, I would say. Yeah, welcome to my channel where we have very dividing opinions. <laughs> like I really don't like Rogue, but I love Unity. Like Unity is uh, one of my favorites in the series. Um. But you know, that, that's fair, like we all have our preferences. What I like about Unity is the foreshadowing and the story, which means I think you can't really appreciate the game until you have replayed it. Or at least the story the same way uh, that it's been taught. So I feel like it definitely deserves a replay for that reason alone. Um, because you don't really get all foreshadowing otherwise. Um, and I feel as a gameplay wise, it really brought back uh, the. Uh, you know, what it is to be an assassin, I guess. Like really being a blade in the crowd, you know. And having the French Revolution and Paris as a location for that. I think it's just perfect. Like the whole location just works so much in favor of uh, the assassin gameplay. And then, you know, it introduces like new environments, graphics, gameplay, um, even assassination missions. Like they completely revamped that aspect. Um, I'm gonna say this though, it definitely is clunky at times, like it can be tricky to control. But I feel like that's kind of like up to how much you wanna invest into the game, I guess. Because if you kind of keep going, then I feel it's a game that uh, grows on you. It kind of like uh, takes some time to master, I guess, or to like, get old, uh, good in. But uh, once you do, it's like becomes so much more fun. Um, so yeah, I guess it just is one of those games that, um, to me, gets better the more I play it, I guess. So uh, yeah, I love this game, for sure. <laughs> but I totally respect, you know, if... Um, Odin is with us! If uh, people can't really get along with Arno as a character, for instance. I can also understand that, that he isn't, you know, 
um, as much liked as Ezio, for instance. But I still think he has uh, qualities and is a greatly written character with a really interesting story arc. It's just uh, not every character can be Ezio, right? Would get uh, boring if that's the case. But yeah, I would say let's uh, make a start on AC Unity. Let's do it. The past is not lost. The past lives inside us. Encoded in the double helix are the experiences of our ancestors. After three decades of research, our engineers have forged the cutting edge of biotechnological interfaces. We have unlocked the lives of our forebears. We have opened a window into the past. This is Total Immersion Entertainment. With the press of a button, you will experience the most pivotal moments in history. All from the comfort of home. Welcome to Helix. Where the past is your playground. And there we go. That is the first introduction to Unity. So basically getting introduced to the Helix system, which as we know from uh, Black Flag and Rogue is kind of the entertaining system that Abstergo Entertainment provides for people to be able to access, uh, you know, the entertainment products, which are basically edited versions of what happened in history. And, you know, for example, the Devils of the Caribbean, which was uh, the game that should have happened out of uh, Edward's memories. Would have been an edited version of uh, you know what really happened in history. If that is the case for all of these uh, you know descriptions here, like Devils of the Caribbean or Murder in the Levant, the Triumph of the Borgias, which obviously didn't happen, it didn't triumph, but Abstergo you know tries to rewrite history in the way that they did. So all of these are like entertainment products, basically, that uh, people in the world of Assassin get to play uh, to be like brainwashed, essentially. Yeah, no worries, uh, Bam. You take care of that, and um, I catch you again soon. And yeah, Maxi, I figured um, we're gonna make a start on Unity after uh, Rogue, so I can at least play a little bit of uh, good AC today. <laughs> um, but yeah, gonna be a short session of Unity though. Um, but yeah, the one we can do though is uh, the tragedy of Jack de Molly. Last of the heroic Knights Templar, Jacques de Molay was a man of principle, a towering intellect, betrayed by those he trusted. In this episode of Fallen Heroes, experience Jacques de Molay's final tragic hours through the eyes of one of his closest friends and advisors. Yeah, dude, I love Mirabeau's voice. Like, he's great uh, for, like, reading stuff. I would definitely listen to him reading a podcast or something. Or, like, uh, or, like reading, I guess, uh, like an audiobook. That's what I mean. Would be cool if you would do like an audiobook for the uh, AC, uh, you know, novels. I definitely listen to that. there a friend of the temple 
Fluorak, the Council's message was absolute. You're not welcome here. I must speak with the Grand Master. He's in session. They all are. Another day, perhaps. King Philip disagrees. Damn you, man. Why you're not rotting in a cell at this moment, I cannot fathom. We are betrayed. Draw your swords, men. Defend the temple. Not you, brother. I have a different task for you. Come with me. Okay, first things first. We have no hard options. Other than all hidden. <laughs> so, yeah. Conflict will be hidden. So enemy feedback if we are detective, for instance. We don't see friend widgets during uh, co-op missions. We don't have a minimap. We don't have any mission log. We don't have our player widgets, so we can't see our health. We don't get any tutorials. We don't get any updates. We don't have a weapon indicator as to which weapon we have equipped. We have no puppet here to kind of like see uh, which buttons we have to press to do stuff. And we don't see high ground icons whenever we are like standing still on uh, rooftops. So, all of that is uh, disabled of this challenge. But uh, that would be awesome. Imagine audiobooks versions of the existing novels with the actors reprising the roles from the games uh, the book is rated uh, to. That would be amazing if they would uh, end up doing that. Be a cool way to kind of like uh, you know bring back uh, the actors in uh, these types of uh, roles as well. It would be a huge uh, project, but um, amazing. Oh, the assassins! Assassins! I thought the Mongol Khans broke their power decades ago. Okay, another thing. Um, Subtitled. Assassins are far older than Massey, my friend. Their anarchic delusions of virulent as the plague, less easily eradicated. We will not prevail this night, but if you make haste, we may yet save our order. What must I do? Go to the tower. Take the sword and the book. Hide them. They must not fall into the assassin's hands. Grandmaster, I will. Go! these uh, double-handed swords. Really is, dude. The animation quality in Unity in general is uh, a plus. Okay, just look at this graphical jump from Rogue to this, and technological jump as well.
Yeah, I have a parkour is fantastic as well in this game. One of my favorite uh, parkour systems for sure. Master Sword from Legend of Zelda. That's it. What they wrote? I actually haven't played uh, Zelda really. The only time I played Zelda was in Super Smash Bros. <laughs> but I love playing Zelda there. Pope Clement, hear me? Before this year is out, you will answer for your crimes before God Almighty! And you? King Philip! No punishment is too heinous for the great evil you have inflicted upon the temple! I curse you! Curse you to the 13th generation of your blood! You shall be cursed! Consumed in flames of hunger and wrath, Thus came the age of true wisdom to a blistering close. The Knights Templar, once the proud shepherds of order, peace, and illumination, were no more. Yeah, let's get a sniffer running. If Abstergo pings us, pull me out. Okay. I have a visual. Hey there. This is probably disorienting, so I'll be brief. I'm Bishop, not my real name, obviously, but that's as much as you'll get today. Please listen carefully. Abstergo is using you, hijacking your neurons to help them sift through genetic memory data. These guys don't have their fingers in countless corporations, governments, media outlets, and NGOs. But now, they want control over history itself. If that doesn't frighten you, it should. But we're here to stop them, and I need your help. Deacon, preload gene sequence, uh, AD-16, B-13, I-87. Yep, Welcome back, Grace. Last week, we gained access to a bank of unsequenced memories in Abstergo's Helix servers. For now, we'd like you to experience a small sample. This should help you understand our struggle. And after that, you can decide for yourself what comes next. We'll be waiting. Yeah, same, Maxi. I'd like an uh, AMD 7870. And I got like 30 to 40 FPS, maybe. But it was playable. <laughs> Ava Snake. Welcome, mate. Oh, no. I go with you, father. Courage, my boy. You wait just here. I will return when this hand reaches the top. 
That's forever. Not as long as all that. And when I get back, we'll see the fireworks. And Arno, no exploring, hmm? Yes, father. Soundtrack though. It's beautiful. It's going good, Snake. Yeah, we finished uh, AC Rogue just now. The stealth challenge. It's very thankful to be uh, able to start Unity now. How are you doing uh, today, Snake? Such a thrashing. Quickly, quickly. <laughs> Bet you can't steal one. Bet I can. Thief! Put that back! Uh, yeah. What happened? For his royal highness, not the likes of you. Damn it! The hell's going on? Young lady is by the same voice actress as uh, Claudia Auditore. That's awesome. I had no idea. Yeah, that happens quite a bit, I think, in like uh, voice acting, but um. Woman the voice. Damn. We should have uh, went through there when we have the chance. Um. Yeah, I, I had uh, no idea that uh, she was actually doing that voice. Yeah, it happens uh, a bit more often, but uh, woman kind of voice for like uh, children. Kind of cool, actually. It's uh, nice to find. Been uh, pretty lazy recently, but you think you're starting to get uh, motivation again? I got your snake. Yeah, I can definitely understand. You know, having like a uh, couple days where don't you feel like it? But I hope you get your motivation back, dude. Did you see their faces when we stole those apples? <laughs> I'm Arno, Elise. I'm here with my father. So am I. He has important business with the king. What should we do now? Shh. Listen. Don't worry, they'll never think to look for us in here. It was my fault. I'm the one who took the apple. Let's see where they're going. Ah, nice snake. That's good. Hurry up. Monsieur Franklin. I sincerely hope this unfortunate affair does not darken your opinion of our nation. Monsieur, if we judged nations by the character of their criminals, we should all be called barbarians. Elise. Father? Come here, girl, now. Father? Requiescat in pace. Come away, boy. Ah. 
Anu. Anu. Look at me. So you stoop the thieving, you bastard! Calm down, Victor. I've only come for my watch. It's my watch. I want it fairly. Well, in a just world, Victor, I would agree with you, but this is not a just world. This is France. You're a dead man! Ooh, step lightly there, you'll hurt yourself. Ah! I just had a nice chat with your brother. You go! Fetch the marshals! Hold on a minute. Diable. I've got it, Victor! Yeah, right, the timing on uh, of Request Cat and Pacha was perfect. Like how timed with the, uh, you know, um, clock uh, falling down. Gentlemen, please, we can watch. I mean. It's a watch or clock, I don't know. Please excuse him, he's not housebroken. We're hoping for it to happen. Yeah, dude, perfect. <laughs> he headed blacksmith like you probably can't even read a watch. Come over here and say that! Uh, no. Get back here! Over there! Very uh, snake. Keeping up? Shall I call a break? Out of my way! I mean, look at this parkour wall. But now tell me, Unity parkour is bad. Citizen! <laughs> yeah, pocket watch. That's what it is. Thank you. Anna's sorry, Tenant Hint goes from doing uh, a four on dive tackle to then sliding past him with an explosion from a position a bit further behind him. <laughs> yeah, dude, like. The way how fast Anna moves, that's like on another level. Also, hey, Grammy. Welcome, citizen. Now, if you would only bring this level of parkour back into the series. Yeah. Like, the whole parkour down is just really such a game changer in terms of like how fluid you can be. But also, the quality of like animations. Uh, it's great. Just so much fun to kind of like mess around with as well. And yeah, just kind of like try to improve your skills with it. Because it's definitely uh, a bit of a death to it. You don't just play for five minutes and then you have master of a parkour. And where in God's name have you been? Ha! Huh. Got you now, you little shit! Just a little misunderstanding, nothing to... Your master's arboring a common criminal. In broad daylight, he broke into my home and stole my watch! Did he indeed? Well, I'm sure the Marshalsea would be more than willing to sort this out. Sort what out, Olivier? Uh, a most serious accusation against your ward, sir. He robbed me. <laughs> of what, precisely? Wait for me in my library.
Don't give me that look. Victor cheats when he plays Pharaoh. Everyone knows it. Arno, who are you talking to? No one, monsieur. You'll be happy to learn I persuaded Olivier to leave off calling the Marshalsea. Again. Je vous remercie, monsieur. What is this? The sixth time? The seventh? Perhaps a new hobby might be better for your health. Well, I find playing cards affords many opportunities for fresh air and exercise. <laughs> we'll talk about this later. I have business in town and must collect Elise before I can attend to it. Elise is here? Only for the night. She returns to Paris first thing tomorrow. She'll need an escort. Won't she with you so preoccupied? One of you running amok is quite enough. Remain here and see if Olivier has any chores for you. I'm sure he does. What was that? Give my regards to Elise. What was that? Give my regards to Elise. Oh, what exactly? Oh, well, precisely. <laughs> yeah, definitely means the same, I reckon. But I love uh, how he says it, you know, kind of like, what could he ha have, uh, you know, robbed you of? But yeah, I think Pursuit de la Serre is actually quite um, an interesting, you know, Templar character. It's, um, I think it's great that he was willing to pick up Arno, you know, being a uh, boy of an, of an assassin, basically, you know. And then not even forcing that uh, boy into the Templar Order or anything like that, either. But yeah, I think it really underlines kind of the truth that uh, the Templar and Assassins were having during, uh, you know, his reign, I guess. And him picking up and adopting Arno, I guess, is kind of like another act of truth, I guess. The Estates General. An urgent message has arrived for an absent Monsieur de la Seine. Track him down and deliver it. Post haste. Thrown out onto the street yet? Oh, you would love that, wouldn't you? It'd break my heart. Olivier, if I weren't here, who'd do all your work for you? The horses need brushing, boy. Get to it. Certainement, monsieur. Some trouble, mon ami. A letter for Sir de la Serre. It's very important. Oh, calm yourself, Perrault. That letter won't reach Monsieur de la Serre any faster if you drop dead of exhaustion. Give it here. I'll catch him. He must receive it today. It's very... Very important. Yes, I heard you the first time. I'll see that he gets it. Yeah, that's a good point, Rod. Stop! With at least kind of like, you know, securing a uh, make way, make way. legacy. Yeah, same here, dude. You know, it's not like assassins good, Templars bad, or vice versa. You know, on both sides, there's characters that kind of like take it too far. 
or even that mean well. So uh, yeah, there's definitely very, very much a distinction between characters on either side. Unity Parkour is just so much fun. And it's the only, I mean, it's not the only game. I actually did it for the Ezio Trilogy as well. It's one of those games where, um, you know, I just have booted it up only to run around the city and do like Traverso, you know. Because Traverso itself is just so much fun. Not even having like any particular ambition in mind, just like there you are. traversing. <laughs> And another game I felt like that, um, which wasn't an AC game, actually, is Spider-Man. Because the way uh, you like swing around the city there kind of has a similar effect. You know, we can spend so much time traversing and like still getting better at it. But you feel like there's a constant sense of like, uh, you know, progress to like kind of a way uh, that you can swing in certain scenarios. It's kind of a game in itself, you know, the traversal. Yeah, exactly. Stay back or love your head. Okay, we gotta utilize uh, social stuff here. We don't see it, but we actually social stuff right now. Yeah, that's true. The Batman games definitely have uh, also traversed with, you know, it's spent like lots of time on. Huh? Get better in. Okay, that worked. And that's where we gotta go. And, uh, this is uh, the moment where all the three estates of uh, friends come together to discuss the future of, uh, of the country. Where the devil are they? And also where the you know, third estate was standing as well. Guys, can I? Thank you. Welcome back to Mice. Indeed. C'est encore à cru Une guerre dispendieuse, mais honorable, en a été la cause. L'augmentation des impôts en a été la suite nécessaire qui a rendu plus sensible l'inégale répartition. Une inquiétude générale. 
Le désir exagéré d'innovation se sont emparés des esprits et finiraient par égarer. So, who or what will take its place? Another king? A council of capable men? That is the question, isn't it? A truce, then. What the devil was that about? Oh! Now, now, we can resolve this without recourse to violence, can't we? Get him, Yuko! I suppose not. I suppose not. Get him, Yuko! Easy, big fella. Is it, Victor? To your health, gentlemen. You boy, so what are you doing there? Uh, running. Running. I love how Anno answers questions that are rhetoric. as a loser today. <laughs> Indeed. You can't shake me, corpse. It's funny how they uh, call us corpse already. Maybe they're talking to themselves or something. Yeah, we're not yet in Paris. This is actually Versailles. And uh, Versailles is also where Arno grows up, really. During his uh, childhood after his uh, you know, father gets murdered. So yeah, we get to get to Paris. for climb leaps are menu and just uh, at the simple pressing of a button something that new games need to be uh, having again yeah just you know giving you more control over uh, where you want to go and when just makes parkour more interesting in general i kind of get that you know origins or the same Valhalla don't have the same environments and the parkour might not be as big of a focus as it is in unity and syndicate 
but I don't think they had to, you know, uh, simplify it as much as they did. They still could have kept, you know, like Baku down and some other, like, even simpler mechanics, like menu uh, jumps and stuff. Yeah. I just hope that uh, whatever's gonna be the next gen AC game, you know, will kind of like bring back a focus on uh, parkour again. I really miss these, you know, huge scaled urban places. And I mean, Versailles is even pretty small compared to Paris. Paris is massive compared. But, you know, just like having such a dense built city with like so many parkour uh, opportunities and stealth opportunities. Um, yeah, fantastic. Played some Unity on Monday and did some main mission stuff. Oh, very nice. Do you want to play some uh, Unity Corp uh, next Monday, Demise? Uh, Rod's looking at some games uh, that were around before AC, like Prince of Persia and Tomb Raider. Jumping and running and climbing don't involve scaling of structures. AC comes along and has the same DNA of force, but adding the distinctive ways of traversal that made it stand out. Now they've become cookie cutter in that regard, unfortunately. Yeah, they really did. I think what really made AC unique is uh, also the liberty that you had, right? Like having an open world, um, where you have like multiple ways to go at one time. You can just go anywhere, really. Like any building. You can climb, you can parkour from like any building to another, really. You can traverse through most cities uh, just by being on rooftops as well. And yeah, last, just like this uh, yes, combination of uh, the parkour with the open world, just uh, was a fantastic idea. Like in Prince of Persia, it was a lot more linear, right? Mostly having like one way to go to the next place. Yeah, sounds good, uh, Demise. Let's do that. I could definitely need uh, the money. <laughs> okay, high society. Elise leaves for Paris in the morning, sneak into the ball at the Palais de Versailles to spend the evening with her. Bonsoir, Olivier. Has Monsieur de la Serre returned? Seigneur de la Serre is not expected until late. Ah, well. I suppose I'll just pass the time with Elise, then. Don't get your hopes up just yet. Mademoiselle is at a private soiree, in her honor, at the palace. A party? I wasn't invited. Neither were the horses. <laughs> I'm sure she just misplaced my invitation. I'll find my own way in. How late is late? 
Perhaps an hour, perhaps three, perhaps not at all. I do not question the comings and goings of my betters. I'll just wait here, then. Yeah, it's really great how, you know, AC kind of like, uh, used, I get, I guess, these mechanics, but uh, definitely develop them as well at the same time. But yeah, that's uh, often more reason for AC to kind of like go back to these roots, I guess, you know. Because I remember back when uh, AC1 was introduced, you know, being able to parkour the way you could in the open world was like definitely one of the major setting points. Because obviously to the lore and the story people had no connection yet. The setting was, I guess, interesting. But I feel like the parkour is really what... Uh, made a lot of people interested in the first place ever traversal so uh, yeah would be good you know to kind of get back to the roots and uh, to trade on that more again so have I done welcome mate how's it going dude welcome to the beginning of AC unity We just started. Les tragiques. Too depressing. Doing a no hard playthrough. I couldn't just slip it under the door. He'd see it the instant he returned. Elise never enjoyed these high society balls. She'll be home soon. It's kind of cool, but you can interact with lots of uh, environments here, which give you a bit more insight into. For example, what Arno has been reading. Le traité du monde et de la lumière de Descartes. Never could get through that one. Yeah, it's going good, uh, Don. We finished uh, Rogue uh, earlier um, with a stealth challenge, so I'm very thankful to be playing some Unity now. <laughs> But yeah, doing good, though. Mémoire de Monsieur D'Artagnan. Elise's favorite. Yeah, it was good that Valhalla brought back, you know, social stuff, um, but also the one hit assassinations again, like guaranteed, even if you want the menu. So I feel that was good, you know, to not like lock uh, being able to be an assassin behind, um, uh, you know, behind like a grind or something like that. We have to like upgrade the hidden blade further or something like that. Or you assess some damage. So definitely good, uh, good changes there. But yeah, that could definitely be the next thing to look uh, out for. Cheers, Grace. Thank you for coming by again and joining. I hope you have a good rest um, of the work. And uh, yeah, I shall catch you soon. Have a good one. And uh, thanks again. Safe and sound, and only slightly delayed. And now, to the palace. Ugh. I couldn't sneak through a sewer in these threads, much less a ball. Hear, hear, mon ami. Let me take care of that. Uh, well, thank you, young man. Thank you, young man. I would be like, yeah, no worries, I got it. I got them free clothes. Maximilien Robespierre. No guest. Arno. Le Chevalier du Telem. Invitation, s'il vous plaît. About that, I had one, of course, but on the way... No invitation, no admittance. Now clear the queue. Next, please. Mm. 
Charles Gabriel Siver. Two guests. Next, please. The kind of her just watching Quite. the way um, Anu landed there. right now <laughs> kind of like stuck in this position can I do anything to make it away okay it works <laughs> yeah yay bugs early for bugs. Is it shift change yet? <laughs> Cheers, Sestro. Thank you for being here, dude, and lurking and all that. Hope you have a good um, rest of your day, hopefully. And um, I catch you soon, dude. Look at that one. Pretty sure his shoes cost more than my rent. Let me back in if I do. What? Certainly not. Well then, if it's all the same to you, I think I'll stay up here. <laughs> Come here. Will you let me back in if I do? See you in the garden later, yes? Of course. Hmm. Why are these guys golden? That's the reason for that, which I'm going to explain later. Quite the turnout this evening. I can't remember the last time we were all together like this. It must have been that business with, um... And I would thank you not to speak of that. Madam. Merci. Un autre jour. I'm sure the plebs would buy it this afternoon. <laughs> yeah, Anna got his eyes uh, somewhere else. <laughs> she always did love the chase.
You seem to have caused quite a commotion. Well, what can I say? You were always a bad influence. Oh, you were a worse one. Are you wearing one of my father's suits? <laughs> Are you wearing a dress? Oh, don't even start. I feel like a mummy wrapped up in this thing. Must be quite an occasion to get you so fancy. It's not like that. Truth be told, it's a lot of ceremony and pontification. Dull as dirt. Well, when you don't invite me to your parties, everyone suffers. I did try, but my father was adamant. Your father? <laughs> Go. I'll distract them. What? You're kicking me out? It's complicated. I'll explain later, but for now, out the window. Oh, no, no, no. You're not turning this into a repeat of that apple orchard. Stop being such a baby. I'm sure there aren't any guard dogs this time. Go! We are pursuing an interloper, Mademoiselle de la Terre. Have you seen him? No. I shouldn't think that he climbs stairs. Not with those little hooves. <laughs> and how did they get out of the royal menagerie? Not an antelope, an interloper. A suspicious person. Have you seen anyone like that? Hmm. Oh. There was Madame de Polignac. Her hair has a bird in it. I think he stole it from the Royal Menagerie. Yeah. <laughs> Please move aside. Uh, absolutely laugh, uh, Elisa. Oh, While she's, uh, you know, selling it. Could have been on party duty, but no. Waste of time. There's nobody out here. Welcome back, Snake. Antelope. Antelope. Yeah. It is proving she's really good in social stuff. Who's even going to come out here? Ten to one I end the night cleaning a rich man's vomit off my shoes. You're right, monsieur. Too much of the king's champagne. Monsieur. Monsieur de la Serre. Monsieur de la Serre. Sivir, come away. Guards, help. Murder. Killed Lord de la Serre. Rest in peace, Monsieur de la Serre. And Arnold gets framed for the murder. So that's two fathers that, it's, uh, that Arno has lost within the first hour of the game. Versus real father and then his uh, adopt adoptive father. No, it, it wasn't me. Dummy unwielded the knife. Please have mercy. Gallia is omnis divisa in partes tres. They're killing us. <laughs> Oh God, have mercy! They're killing the prisoners in here! That's enough of that, you degenerate! <laughs> Where am I? In hell. Uh, 
uh, I'm imagining Peel Rice without clothes there, Rod. <laughs> Standing by like a uh, Akita Sad. There, there we go. Arno gets framed for the murder of his uh, adoptive father, Monsieur de la Serre. And now we're in the Bastille, one of the prisons of Paris. And it ain't looking too nice in here. Let's see if we can talk to the guards. Hello? I must speak to someone! Open this door! Scream all you like. No one cares. Ah, oh, really? What do you gotta say then? What are you staring at, pisspot? Don't bother me, boy. From where I'm sitting, I could kill you seven ways. Twelve if I had a spoon. <laughs> Twelve if I had a spoon. <laughs> I like that. And we also have these symbols on the wall. Scribbled notes. And some of these symbols we have seen before in AC because... This symbol right here. Right there. This one. This one as well, I think. These. They've been symbols that uh, Shay... Eh, uh, Shay. <laughs> Clay. His Merrick has uh, left behind in the Animus uh, 1.0. Um, and Desmond Lucy, they take the memory core of that Animus in AC2 over to the uh, Assassin Hideout. And then uh, Desmond gets to fight, find these uh, symbols in the Animus. Which give you uh, very special messages uh, from the past, but also from uh, the 20th century as well. And they're kind of like clues towards uh, the potential end of the world. For example, this uh, one is, uh, sim uh, is like a symbol for two things that are the same but opposite of each other. Because, you know, what is white here is black there, and what is black there is white here. And it's also something you could say is like the beginning and the end, which also is uh, the same, but uh, different from each other. O well, opposite of each other, I guess. Also, Maxi, thank you so, so much for the gift sub. To, I can't even read that name. <laughs> but, Maxi, thank you so much for doing that. It's getting pissed off, thanks. Uh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Pistache, okay. Thank you. For doing that, dude. But unbeknownst to Arno, they were framing him for the murder takes eyes off of Jamal if he were to be suspected, and also hiding him even better from Elise. That's true. That's true as well. I must speak with Elise de la Serre! Do you hear me? Elise de la Serre! Elise! Bring Elise to me! Bring Elise to me. I'm no killer! You're wasting your time. They're killing everyone! Oh God! Help us! And that's, that's all we can interact with here. We can have a look outside. <laughs> yeah, it's true that guard is actually still walking there. You guys okay? Why are you holding your arm for that uh, dude? 
They're coming. They're coming to kill us all. <laughs> okay, you guys uh, do yours. Welcome to your new home. Why, thank you. Okay, guys. Um, unfortunately, we're out of time. And if we start the next uh, checkpoint, then that's gonna kind of trigger um, a couple of uh, scenarios and uh, missions. So this will be where we will continue the next time we're going to be playing uh, AC Unity. But yeah, it was uh, the first sequence. And I just love this introduction. Thanks so much. The next two sequences are also uh, really, really good and part of the introduction. So that's where we're gonna continue the next time. No, the very guys. Thank you all for being here and joining. Really appreciate it. Um, yeah. Let's go ahead and quit the desktop. And then we're gonna find ourselves a raid target. Let's have a look. Who's online? Um, also, Maxi, thank you again for that gift sub to Pistache. <laughs> Uh, Yubi, thank you again for the raid earlier with a party of 11. If you guys haven't checked out uh, Yubi yet, definitely do so. He's playing lots of multiplayer games, uh, but recently started the new Pokemon Snap game. Uh, then we also have Maxi. He's uh, playing um, It Takes Two currently, which is a co-op game. Uh, playing it together with uh, Playing Catch-Up. Um, but yeah, he also played all kinds of other games like, uh, for example, Ghost of Tsushima. Also, thank you for the shout out to the mice uh, rod. The mice is currently doing a play for AC Odyssey, where he's going for a nightmare challenge. He's almost done with that, actually. He's uh, currently at the start of Fate of Atlantis. So, definitely check out his channel too. And um, Rod, thank you also for the raid earlier as well. Um, Rod is another big, big fan of Assassin's Creed. He's uh, playing. Um, AC3 and Valhalla on weekends currently. And uh, today he just finished his uh, Red Dead 2 Redemption uh, playthrough, where he basically went for 100%, like all the medals, um, all the checklist, and everything. So yeah, that was really impressive. <laughs> it's kind of like a 200% playthrough. Um, and now that he finished that, he's going to be playing uh, LA Noir and also gonna come back to Witcher 1 as well. Yeah, see another time done. Thank you for dropping by, dude. If that's a voice of a shout out, guys. Always happy to give you one. But yeah, it's time we find the raid target. So who's online? I think... We're gonna go say hi to Mr. BPM. Mr. BPM is currently playing some Sea of Thieves, which is like a naval um, pirate exploration game. It reminds me a bit of uh, AC Black Flag actually at times. Um, but he's also a huge fan of Red Dead Redemption. Uh, he's playing Red Dead 2 online quite a bit. And um, he's also played a bit of uh, the AC games. I think he's actually a big fan of Black Flag too. Also, have a Baloski. You're very astute. Thank you for dropping by at the end. And um, have a Mola. That's no worries whatsoever, dude. Thank you for the lurk. Really appreciate that, dude. I hope you're having a great day. Very screamy. Thank you also for being here. It's also a shout out to you, uh, Mola. So, definitely check out Mola. He's a really cool dude. Um, 
Das uh, Community Days, uh, he plays GTA 5 role-playing. Um, I recently also played Control for the first time, I think. So, uh, yeah, definitely check out Mordor as well. Yeah, that's a very Spadowski. Maybe catch you next time. Thank you for dropping by when you could. Hope you had a good day so far. Okay guys, we're gonna go stuff right now. So thanks again everybody for joining and for all the support today guys. And um, yeah, I shall catch you next time. Take care.